I am privileged to participate with all the intellectual brains, the sophisticated people and power-packed viewers. If you want to stop falling stuck and start moving forward, the only way out for you is to embrace change. Make a decision and make it work. If you focus on problems, they are going to expand. Focus on the possibilities and the solutions reveals themselves. And today's topic is on relations and I am going to solve the problems related to the equivalence relation. The first problem is let x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the relations are the set of ordered pairs that is 1 comma 1, 1 comma 4, 4 comma 1, 4 comma 4, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. So we have to prove that R is an equivalence relation. As I have taught you the, what is an equivalence relation in my previous video, please go through the playlist. So many videos are uploaded for your preparation and see here. If you want to show R is an equivalence relation, so we have to prove three properties. One is reflexive, the next one is symmetric and the next one is transitive. See here, the first equation here is X is given as 1, 2, 3, 4 and the relation is given as like this. So we have to prove that R is an equivalence relation. First of all, I am going to make a relation matrix with this. See here, in the domain there is 1. And there is 2 here. In the domain, there is 3. And there is also 4. So, in the domain. So, domain is the set of the first element in the ordered pair. So, here in the range. So, there is 1 here. There is 2. There is 3 as well as 4 here. So, rows and columns are arranged as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, comma 1. So, between 1, comma 1, there is a relation. I am keeping 1. So 1 comma 4. So 1 comma 4 there is a relation and keeping 1. So the rest are all zeros. And next one coming to 4 comma 1. See here this is 4 comma 1 and this is 4 comma 4. So 4 and 4. So I am making one relation here 2 comma 2. So this is 2 comma 2 and this is 2 comma 3. So 2 comma 3 there is a relation and the remaining all, all zeros. And next one 2 comma 3. And next one 3 comma 2. So between 3 and 2 there is one relation and between 3 comma 3 there is a relation. And the remaining are all zeros. See here. So this is the relation matrix. Every relation can be represented in two notations. One is relation matrix and one is and the, and the one is the digraph. So here is the digraph. So as we have four vertices that is 1, 2, 3, 4 as the domain so here there is a relation from 1 comma 1 so here there is a relation from 1 comma 4 and therefore I am drawing a loop here and there is a relation from 1 to 4 so between 1 to 4 there is a relation I am giving an edge for this and next one 4 to 1 so again from 4 to 1 there is a relation and giving an edge here and next one 4 to 4 so from 4 to 4 again there is a relation and giving a self loop here and next one 2 comma 2 so between 2 comma 2 so there is a relation therefore I am giving a self loop here from 2 to 3 also there is a relation so I am giving one edge from 2 to 3 here and next one again 3 to 2 so again from 3 to 2 there is a relation and giving one loop here and again from 3 to 3 so again from 3 to 3 I am giving a self loop so this is the representation of a digraph so this is how we have to show a relation through the relation matrix as well as this digraph see here clear everybody is clear so now we have to show that it is an equivalence relation so here the relation is given like this and we have to show that this is a reflexive symmetric and transitive so that it will be so that it will be an equivalence relation so coming to the reflexive so what is reflection so reflexive property is nothing but x should relate with x implies x comma x belongs to the relation then we say that x is a reflexive property so if you take one from this so one comma one see here one comma one next one two comma two one comma one two comma two and next one here if you check this is three comma three this is four comma four so here the self images that is x comma x lies in the relation r and therefore r is a reflexive and next one coming to the symmetric. So, symmetric property is nothing but if x is related to y, see here clearly, then y should also relate with x. Then we say that r is a symmetric. If x comma y, see here in the ordered pair rotation, if x comma y belongs to r, then y comma x also belongs to that relation. Then we say that r is 
a symmetric relation. If you take 1 comma 4 from this set, so if you take this is 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1 also exists in the relation. And if you take 2 comma 3 here, 2 comma 3, if you take 3 comma 2 also exists in the relation. Therefore, R is a symmetric. And next one is transitive. So what is the transitive property? If X is related to Y and Y is related to Z, implies if you cancel this y x is related to z so this is the transitive property x is transferred to z so x is related to y and y is related to z and therefore x is related to z so if you take 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1 so there is a connection here x to y and y to z see here if you cancel this 4 so 1 comma 1 should also exist in the relation r if you check here in this so here if you see 1 comma 4 so there is 1 comma 4 here and if you see 4 comma 1, 1 is also taken so if you cancel this one 1 comma 1 also exists in this and next if you take 2 comma 3 and next one continuation part 3 comma 2 so x comma y and y comma z exists in the relation and if you cancel this one 2 comma 2 also exists in this relation therefore r satisfies the transitive property for example if you take 4 comma 1 and next one continuation part 1 comma 1 so here if you cancel this one then the next one is 4 comma 4 comma 1 also belongs to this relation if you take 2 comma 2 and the continuation part 2 comma 3 and if you cancel this 2 this is 2 comma 3 also exists in the relation therefore r is a transitive as r is reflexive symmetric and transitive hence we say that r is an equivalence relation so this relation is an equivalence relation this is what it is asked to prove that so the relation is expressed in the two notations one is relation matrix and other one is digraph and after that after using this relation i have shown so as it is having x comma x belongs to r it is reflexive symmetric and tends to hence it is an equivalence relation and coming to the next important most important question that is let x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 5 1 6 6 7 so here the relation is given as see here here the relation is given as x comma y ordered pair such that x minus y is divisible by 3 the difference is divisible by 3 and we have to show that r is an equivalence relation and draw the graph of r so here the relation is it is an ordered pair such that the difference should be divisible by 3 so here let me take x belongs to capital x or r so if you take x belongs to r and see here if you take an ordered pair x comma sorry x comma x belongs to r x comma x belongs to r then what is the property here if you take x comma x belongs to r then x minus x that is x minus x is equal to 0 so 0 is always divisible by 3 and therefore we say that x minus x is divisible by 3 and therefore x is related to x and therefore x is reflexive clear and next one if you take a symmetric relation so we have to take two elements so x comma y belongs to r so if you take x comma y belongs to a relation therefore if they are in a relation ultimately x minus y is divisible by 3 so if you take minus common y minus x is divisible by 3 and clearly if y minus x is divisible by 3 we say that y is in relation with r x and therefore i have taken x is related to y and i have shown that y is related to x and clearly r is symmetric clear so if you take two elements that is x comma y belongs to r x minus y is divisible by 3 if you take minus common y minus x is divisible by 3 and therefore we see that y is related to x after taking x is related to y and i have shown that y is related to x therefore r is a symmetric property and next one coming to transitive property so we have to take three elements x comma y comma z belongs to the relation r so if x is related to y and y is related to z so there, is, there should be a transfer from x to z Clearly, if x is related to y, then x minus y is divisible by 3. If y is related to z, then y minus z is related to 3. Therefore, the addition is also divisible by 3 if you cancel this one. So, clearly, x minus z is divisible by 3 and we see that x is related to z. So, if x is related to y and y is related to z then x is related to z and therefore r is a transitive property hence we say that r is an equivalence relation and now coming to the graph here so here we have to draw a graph here so x is given from points 1 2 3 4 
5 and 6. So, it is the relation that. So, here it is very interesting. So, x minus y, the difference is divisible by 3 here. So, the relation, the ordered pairs will be. So, if I select 1 here, so 1 minus 1. So, the difference here, 1 minus 1 is divisible by 3. Clear? And next one, if I take 1 minus 2, no. 1 minus 3, it is 2, no. It is not divisible by 3. So, 1 minus 4, it is divisible by 3. So, the difference is divisible by 3. So, 1 minus 5, 4, not divisible by 3. 1 minus 6, 5, it is not divisible by 3. 1 minus 7, it is not divisible by 3. And next one coming to 2 here. So, 2 comma 2. So, 2 minus 2 is divisible by 3. So, 2 minus 3. See here, 2 minus 1, 1, it is not divisible. 2 minus 2, it is divisible. 2 minus 3, 1, not divisible. 2 minus 4, 2, which is not divisible by 3. 2 minus 5. So, 2 minus 5, which is 3, it is divisible by 3. So, 2 minus 6, 4, not divisible. 2 minus 7, it is not divisible. Clear? So, this one is not divisible. And next, coming to 3 here, 3 comma 3, which is 0, which is always divisible by 3. And next, 3 minus 1, 2, not divisible. 3 minus 2, 1, it is not divisible. 3 minus 4, 1, it is not divisible. 3 minus 5, not divisible. 3 minus 6. So, 3 minus 6, which is equal to 3, which is divisible by 3. And 3 minus 7, not divisible. And next one, coming to 4 here, this is 4 comma 4, 0, which is divisible by 3. So, 4 comma 1. So, 4 comma 1. So, 4 minus 1 is divisible by 3. 4 minus 2, 2, it is not divisible. 4 minus 3, 1, it is not divisible. 4 minus 5, not divisible. 4 minus 6, 2, not divisible. And 4 minus 7. See here. 4 comma 7, 3, it is divisible. So, next one coming to 5 here. This is 5 comma 5, which is 0, which is divisible. 5 minus 1, 4, not divisible. 5 minus 2, 3. So, this is 5 comma 2 is divisible. 5 minus 3, 2, 5 minus 1, 1. So, this is 5 minus 6, 1, which is not divisible by 3. 5 minus 7, not divisible. And next one coming to 6 here, 6 comma 6, which is clearly divisible by 3. So, 6 minus 1, 5 not divisible. 6 minus 2, 4 not divisible. 6 comma 3. So, 6 comma 3 which is equal to 3 which is divisible. 2 not divisible. 1 not divisible. 1 not divisible. And coming to 7 here, 7 comma 7 is divisible. Divisible by 3. And next one, 7 minus 1, 6. This is divisible. And 7 minus 2, 5. 7 minus 3, 4. 7 minus 4, 3. So, this is a 7 comma 4. This is divisible. 2, 1, not divisible. So, these are all the possible ordered pairs following the rule that x minus y. So, these two differences is strictly divisible by 3. And therefore, these are all the other ordered pairs. And using this relation, we have to frame a graph here. For framing a graph, see here, this is 1. This is the first edge. This is the second edge. And see here, I am taking... 3, 1, 2, 3. And next one, this is 4. And this one is 5. See here. And this one is a 6. And this one is a 7. See here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. See here. 1, comma 1. So, if you take 1, comma 1, it is a self loop. And next one is 1 to 4. So, this is 1 edge from 1 to 4. See, this is 2, comma 2. This is again a self edge. And next one, 2 to 5. So, this is 2 to 5. So, from 2 to 5, there is self edge. From 3 to 3, so this is a self loop here from 3 to 3. And next one, 3 to 6 here, there is an edge here. And next one, 4 comma 4. So, if you see here, there is a self loop here from 4 to 4. And next one, 4 to 1. So, again from 4 to 1, there is an edge. And 4 to 7, there is an edge from 4 to 7 and again 5 to 5 there is a self loop here and next one 5 to 2 so this is from 5 to 2 and next one 6 to 6 and there is a self loop from 6 to 6 6 to 6 still here I have drawn and next one 6 to 3 and this is from 6 to 3 there is an edge from 6 to 3 and this is again 7 to 7 so here there is a 7 to 7 self loop here and next one 7 to 1. So this is from 7 to 1. And next one 7 to 4. And next one is a 7 to 4. 
and this is from 7 to 1 and next one here if you see 1 minus 7 is also one ordered pair so the difference here is 6 and this is divisible and there is also the relation from 1 to 7 so there is also relation from 1 to 7 so these are all the digraphs from 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so these are all the self loops and this is how we have to show a digraph for the following relation that x minus 1 is divisible by 3 so this is how we have to follow this is also so simple I have shown you three properties one is reflexive next one is symmetric and the next one is transitive and after following and after satisfying all the three properties we say that r is an equivalence relation after that I have shown you a relation matrix and digraph also and these two questions are most important questions and repeatedly asked questions please do follow this uh, videos and definitely it will be very helpful for your preparation if you really like you know what to do pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next video too and have and go through my playlist and so many topics are uploaded for your preparation and definitely it will be very very useful thank you so much for watching and staying till the end